Today I'm going to show you how to create a basic smoky eye and share some of my favorite tips and tricks. I've already started off by prepping the lid with some concealer and eyeshadow primer. But you can use whatever you feel comfortable with. I often get asked about the main parts of the eye, and for a smoky eye, that would be the lash line. The lash line is basically the area right above the lashes, but it can also mean anything from about the halfway point of the lid, the area that you can still see when your eyes are open. Depending on your eye shape, this may be a lot of space or a very small amount of space. The second most important part of the eye when doing a smoky eye is your crease. This is the area where the lid creases into the shape of the eye, but it can also mean anything above this area working up towards the brow bone. And this is typically the area you want to really blend. To create any eye makeup look, you need a shadow at least one shade lighter, a shadow at least one shade darker, and then your midtone. Your midtone is also referred to as the transition shade. If you're struggling to find this particular shade, have a look at your favorite nude lipstick. If it looks great on your lips, chances are it'll look great in the crease because it'll work with your skin tone and undertone. To start off this look, we're going to apply the lightest shade, so our highlighter shade, using a blending brush. We're going to apply this all over the lid. This will set our base and create a powdery finish. This will actually help with our blend, which is so important with a smoky eye. Then you're going to take your midtone. You're going to apply the midtone in the crease area to begin with and slowly work upwards towards the brow bone, remembering to leave a little bit of a gap under the brows. When blending into this crease area, try keeping your eyes open. This will make sure that your transition is in the perfect position. If you're not sure where to stop and start your shadow, use your nose, eye, and brow to create an imaginary line. You basically want to blend in from this point. But you can then also use this to reference the inside of the eye too, by using that angle to create a perpendicular line on the inner edge of the eye using your tear duct as a guide. You basically want to keep your shadows in at this point, working over and back. It's a great way to find your stopping and starting line. We're also going to apply the midtone across the lid as well. So work this from the crease right down to the lash line. Next, we're gonna take a black eyeshadow and we're gonna be using a brush that's not too fluffy, but has a firm finish. This will grab hold of the eyeshadows for us. If you're a little bit worried about using eyeshadow, you can also use a black eyeliner pencil. When applying this, you want to apply it along the lash line and you want this to be slightly higher just in the center and then sweeping down on either side. So you get this half moon shape. Then you're gonna take your contour shade, which is one shade darker than your skin tone at least, and take a slightly fluffier flat brush. This will be great for working around the edges of the black and make sure you get a really nice fade. It also deepens the look ever so slightly as well. Then you're gonna take a black eyeliner pencil and run this along the upper waterline or the tight line. It can tickle a little bit, but it does make a difference. And to finish the look, add a little bit of highlighter just to that inner corner. A couple of other things to be aware of is the smoky eye needs lots of mascara and a very clean under eye. So make sure to sharpen up and conceal underneath the eyes. And there you go. That's how to create a basic smoky eye. Check out the other videos on the screen. And if you enjoyed this video and learned something, hit that like button. And I'll see you next time.